Toastmaster of the evening, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. I'm not a child psychologist, nor am I a school teacher, but I am the father of two grown children and the grandfather of four. While this does not make me an expert on parenting, it does give me the right to make some pertinent observations regarding the raising of children. A prominent child psychologist by the name of Caitlin Flattery, who has written and spoken widely on the topic of parenting, believes that every child should read the classics that define Western civilization during their formative years. I agree with that, but I also believe that children should be required to read and regurgitate the history of the United States, both the good and the bad. And I also believe that the whims and the preferences of children should always be supplemented, supplemented to the sense and judgment of their elders. And what if the student finds that this is not to his taste? Well, that's regrettable. Most regrettable. But his case or her case should not be consulted because it is being formed. Now let's pay attention, parents. A British conservative politician once said that it was the first right of people to be governed well. I'd like to replace people with children. And that would sum up my philosophy. Now, I'm not saying that children should be seen and not heard. But I am saying that, like the hen house should not be run by the fox, nor the jail be run by the prisoners, the family should not be run by the children. I believe also that there should be a great deal of discipline. Now, some parents think that discipline is all about shaping proper behavior by manipulating the child and kind of putting the, the carrot and, and saying that uh, if you behave this way, you will get this as a reward. But in my opinion, that's not discipline. Uh, that's behavior modification. So, what do I think should be done? Well, I think, in my opinion, that children ought to behave and follow their parents' good example. They should not necessarily do what they want to do. A child is naturally going to want to drink a soda rather than a glass of water. She or he would rather play video games rather than do chores. Certainly, they would rather have a bowl of ice cream than a helping of broccoli. <laughs> but if we are to develop men and women who know right from wrong and know why right is right and why wrong is wrong, 
then we have to give them the discipline and it should be replete with a lot of love. I will say this in closing, that proper behavior is the measure, not the object, of child rearing. And I do not think that children need to or should be consulted. That's not the role of a child in a family situation. Mr. Toastmaster.